The Brandt Center felt rather somber Wednesday at the Pats' last media event of the season. The team made the playoffs for the first time in five years, but were bounced in the first round, losing a tough seven-game series to the Saskatoon Blades. The final horn also probably blew on Connor Bedard's time as a Regina Pet. If I got that honor, it'd be unreal, and um, you know, I'd be, be super grateful to you know kind of people that have helped me with that. But um, you know, it's it's a long time away, and um, you know, for me, it's just kind of focusing on what I can do now to improve myself as a player and and everything. So um, you know, that would be that would be unbelievable. But uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Obviously, Bedard's junior hockey career has been stellar. He's dominated the WHL and won gold multiple times with Team Canada. For months, Bedard has been the projected number one pick in this year's NHL draft. You know, I'm not sure of, sure of the future or anything, so um, you know, kind of just saying my thank yous to everyone. You know, whether I'll be back next year or not, but um, you know, I think it's just it's always tough to leave leave the group of guys you're with all year. It's possible that Bedard could be sent back down to the WHL after getting drafted. But many in the hockey world, including the Pats organization, don't expect that to happen. I don't have much doubt, personal belief, that he's going to do it in the NHL, but I can't put him ahead of Solani or Chera or Alfredson when he's only 17. But the places that they are, I won't be alive when he goes into those places, but he'll, be, he'll do that, I think. NHL teams each have one or two games left in the regular season, and the team that finishes last has a 25% chance of getting the first draft pick. The Columbus Blue Jackets are at the bottom of the standings, but the Anaheim Ducks and Chicago Blackhawks are only one point ahead of Columbus in the standings. Bedard will learn where his next stop is when the NHL draft starts on June 28th. Nicholas Frew, CBC News, Regina.